Hi ladies, I'm back with another video. I already did my CVS haul and if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. So, this video was requested by Rixie Skincare Routine. <clears throat> and she asked me a question. Has your skin changed after or during your pregnancy? After or during your pregnancy? During my pregnancy, Rixie, it did not change. It was, I was glowy, I was fresh. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I look good okay <laughs> but after my pregnancy um my i i experienced hair loss i experienced my my your they say that your feet grow your foot grows not your feet your foot grows i need a um bigger shoes um it's harder for you to lose the weight after you have a baby uh and about your skin yes it changed for me i used to have good skin and now I have to be careful. I have to make sure that I wash my brushes constantly. Yesterday I washed them. I only use today my blush. Uh, my blush brush <laughs> and my powder. I didn't do no contour or anything else. But yeah, I make sure that that way I can prevent um, breakouts. Okay? So, let's talk about skin now the first thing that i recommend is if you're gonna wear uh, makeup make sure you take it off um you don't want to sleep in your makeup that's a big no-no you don't want to do that because that makeup is gonna go into inside your skin and probably you're wondering oh why is my skin breaking up well that could be one of the reasons another reason could be also that you're not cleaning your brushes make sure you clean your brushes i did a whole video on how to clean makeup brushes so you see my makeup brushes are very clean right now <laughs> so yeah i make sure i didn't touch them when i was sick do that too also what i suggest if speaking of which of skincare let me get a oh yeah sponges uh don't be using the same sponge for a long time you have to make sure these are disposable ones i love these ones either toss them or clean them these this is a clean one but i used it today in the morning for my under eye right here but just toss this one use a new one okay so there you go you're just trying to prevent um dirt and bacteria to build up another thing that you can do for your skin and for your makeup is to use alcohol cleansing pads i don't see nobody on videos on youtube that talk about this you need to clean your makeup everything of your makeup yesterday i cleaned it with alcohol because you're going to prevent again bacteria now i'm going to talk about what is my routine <clears throat> it changes but usually what i do is in the morning let me put my makeup away Sorry, ladies. Okay, use. I love the Boots Cream Cleansing Lotion, but this is the toner though. So I ran out of it. So I have this one, the Olay. Use a cleansing, either lotion or foaming wash for your face, either alone with a deep cleansing puff like this one. If you love these ones, then you should use it. If not, then. You should do the either the Clarisonic, which I heard great things about it, but I don't have it. I don't own it. You should do also, I know Sigma has one, and I know Olay Pro X has one as well. I think that's the one I'm going to go for next time when I go to CVS. I'm going to buy that one. I used to have, I think it was the, I think it was the Pons. And they used to have one, but it used to, it used to vibrate, and they had the like little cotton pads and they would cleanse your face but they don't have it anymore they discontinue it. I don't know what happened so anyways I do that first and then after that <clears throat> after I cleanse my face then I do the toner I'm gonna be honest I haven't done toner for a while but you need to do your toner because it's good for you it says it revitalizes the skin prior to moisturizing so this is a step that you would do before your serums either for your face or underneath your eyes and before you put your lotion okay so that's it and then the third step would be I don't have 
a face serum but I know that I think it's the L'Oreal I forgot the name of it I'm sorry no, the L'Oreal they have one that has a serum for the face but, but you can go to Clinique I think they also have one but I have this one and it's a trial size and this is for the eyes and you should get an eye serum because that's going to prevent um, like wrinkles underneath the eye especially get one that has retinol and I recommend because I see the I see a Korean novella <laughs> Monday through Fridays I see it and they they're promoting the um, Estee Lauder Estee Lauder Instant Age Rewind I think it's called or Estee Lauder eye serum but this one is for the eyes and this is the Clinique one and I'm gonna give you a close-up just in case you guys are interested this is the trial size that my subscriber gave to me and I'm using it I love it this is this feels so great <laughs> and it does like it has like a cooling effect you see that it goes on clear and then it dries matte it dries like nothing and then it leaves your under eyes and your Right here on your lids too. I do it on my lids because I want to. I want that cooling effect. And it leaves it very soft and I love it. So that could be your little treatment at home that you can do for your face. So that's cool. Okay, the next thing <clears throat> that I recommend is obviously after that thing you do your lotion. Whatever lotion you feel comfortable with. This one I'm going to stop using it because I noticed this is a Pond's Dry Skin Cream. I used it for so many years. I used to love it. Now I notice that oh, for me it feels it's white. It feels kind of like when it dries, it feels like greasy. <laughs> and I don't like that feeling. So. But I guess because it's meant for dry skin. So we'll see. But the one that I really want to try again is the L'Oreal one. Yeah, it's the L'Oreal and it comes with the serum. I, I forgot the name. So anyways, you should do that. Just get a good um, lotion for your face. And make sure you, that if you buy any products for your skin, that it's with your skin type. Whether it's dry, um, oily combination, or oily. There you go. Or normal to dry, whatever. So do that. And the other steps that I recommend is when you take your makeup off, I don't have a makeup cleanse, makeup on wipes, but what I do is I use my um, foaming face wash, but you can use makeup wipes at night if you're too lazy and you don't want to take the hassle, do the hassle of the foaming face wash, just do your makeup wipes. And I know Costco has a good brand, I think it's the Kirkland brand. MAC has amazing wipes. I love their wipes. I know. I think it's the Olay has great makeup wipes too. You can use those ones. Neutrogena has makeup wipes. I can name so many of makeup wipes. Do that at night if you're so lazy. And then at, at night, um, just get any eye makeup remover, okay? Because you don't want that eye makeup to get into your eyes, okay? There you go. And then... Of course, I, I think I was talking about, these are like little extra steps that you can do. And these are the um, strips for the nose, either the forehead or the chin. And you can do that for extra cleaning of your face. For any, you know, they say this is good for, so you can, you wouldn't, you can't damage your skin. And to unclog your pores. So that's cool. You can do that step. This is an extra step. And I think you can only do this one once every. I think it says. Oh, man. oh I'm sorry girls. I'm trying to look for it. It says right here in the packaging. But I can't even find it. So I think. I'm assuming you can only do this once every week. I don't know I think so okay so anyways that's a good step another step you can do is the St. Ives that one I don't recommend though because I noticed it was really rough the particles of the, um, the scrub 
but you can do the up and up version of the Target. You can do that one, or you can do the CVS, and that's amazing. Cause it's, I noticed when I did the, I, I'm not sure if I did the CVS or the up and up. I don't even remember now because it's been so long. But it left my skin so soft. I love that one. You can. That's an extra step that you you can do if you don't have money for um, a Clarisonic or um, one of those spinning brushes. Yeah. So anyways, another step you can do is the facial peel off mask. And this is great. And I noticed in my husband when I did it for him, he felt like he was in a spa. <laughs> it was funny. I put soft music for him and oh, he's so spoiled. And then I put it on his face and once I took off, when I peel it off, I gently peel it off, right? Um, yeah, it did its job and it left his skin very soft and pinky, <laughs> like glowy. I left the glowy skin so this is amazing okay so i hope i answer all her questions and yeah and of course you have to drink water <laughs> you have to hopefully well if you don't have kids then you have better better chance of getting enough sleep <laughs> yeah but, um, yeah, take care of your skin. Oh, and another thing they say in the news, I was hearing about this. Don't touch your skin. Do not, because hands, believe it or not, they have so many germs. Wash your hands. Don't pick your face. <laughs> don't, you know, just, I don't want to say this is so nasty and gross. Don't pop your pimple. Please don't, because you're going to get acne scars or, you know, it's just going to spread. You don't want that that's something you want to keep your face clean and clear <laughs> clean and clear and under control this sound like a commercial but it's true you want to keep it nice and clean so hope you have a wonderful day Rixie thank you for the request and if I didn't answer any questions then just leave it down below or if anybody has any questions about the products that I used or yeah or anything in general of skincare I can answer them okay so Bye. Take care of your skin. <laughs>